Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Why do plagues happen? That's the subject of the day's Higher Things Video Short. If you love our videos, like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell to get notifications of new videos, and donate. I think it's on this hand. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, an organization all about the gospel, keeps us oh, a rolling. Before this video starts, I want to make sure you understand that I'm coming at this video from a perspective that God loves us in Christ. I'm coming at this from a Christian perspective. I'm going to put my cards on the table, if you couldn't tell by the collar, I'm going to put my cards on the table. I'm going to let you know that this is way, the way I'm coming about this. I'm coming about it in a world in which Christ died and rose again for us. And that's the way I understand this. That's the way the scriptures speak. So you're looking for, you know, a reason to flame God or to get upset with him. What I may say may seem nonsensical to you. But from our perspective, inside the faith of Jesus, what I say on this is completely in line with the scriptures say. Sickness comes from sin. The root cause of sickness is sin. Uh, not necessarily someone sinned and therefore they got sick, uh, but Adam's sin and the fall and the like. Sin the source of sickness may not have a, a, a point of contact in your life. But when I say that sin comes from, uh, sin is the cause of sickness, it's, be, it's, it's to understand that without sin, there would be no death. Death came with sin. Sometimes the Lord uses plagues, sickness, and the like, to call us out of our sins. To draw us to a closer relationship with Him. In an unbelieving world, the scriptures are full of the Old Testament lesson for this week, which is Exodus 8, 15 and following. The Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your staff and strike the dust of the earth so that it may grow gnats in the land of Egypt. And they did so. Aaron stretched out his hand and, and his staff and struck the dust of the earth, and there were gnats on man and beast. All the dust of the earth became gnats in the land of Egypt. And the magicians tried with their secret arts to produce the gnats. I want you to just take a second here. The plagues in Exodus are from God trying to, to show the children of Israel and the Egyptians that he's God and there is no other. And when he struck Egypt with these plagues, gnats and flies and the like, the Egyptians were so resistant to him being God that they attempted to replicate the very things that he was doing, which is comical in a sense. There are flies everywhere. The Egyptians attempt to create more flies by means of their dark art. This happens over and over again with their varied success. Sometimes they're able to replicate the, the, the plague. Sometimes they're not. Both times when they're replicating the, flat, the, 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 uh, the event, it's kind of comical. You know, imagine that frogs were everywhere and the magicians came. God said, there's going to be frogs. I'm striking the land with frogs. And the magicians come and they create more frogs to show to show Pharaoh that this isn't God, this, they can do that. But their resistance to God creates a comical thing where there are more frogs. When it comes to plagues, what God does with plagues is he calls us to repentance. Sickness and death call us to repentance. They drive us away from our sins. 
They make us, they put everything in perspective. Sometimes sickness or plagues in the Old Testament are used by God to show that he's God. He wanted to free his people. The Egyptians enslaved his people. And so he struck the Egyptians with plagues for his people. Think about that for a second. God did bad things in order to save his people. And this shouldn't be a shock for us in the faith. Can you think of God doing a bad thing in order to save his people? He just flat out missed that. The cross. The cross is the greatest plague of all time. Jesus is struck on the cross. God crucifies his son. You are saved. So what God does, all that God does, he does to save his people. That's nonsensical outside the Christian faith. How can God be glorified in the death of a child? I feel you. I have a sickly kid. I pray for her a lot. But I see also in her sickness, life. His life. His love for her, achieved on the cross and delivered in his gift. So I invite you to see plagues in a different way. See them in the Old Testament, not as an angry God punishing people, but as a God saving his people. Because that's the way the plagues go in the Old, in the Old Testament. They are sent to save his people. And that might be true today. Nothing like sickness causes us to look at ourselves, realize our sinful condition, repent of our sins, and trust in the God who can save us better than any vaccine any virus, or any pesticide to keep the locusts away. If you start with Christ and you believe in a God who must be good, everything that God allows to happen might be seen as good too in the faith. In the faith. In the faith of Jesus. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been a Higher Things Video Short.